sex. What am I looking for this time? I've already gone straight to kill her, right? I've got... But even... Here's the thing. Even in that first one... I don't think I did the second and the first ending correctly because I was broken and she beat me up. But then I decided to run away in the second chapter. What if I just run away in the first chapter? Well, what happens if I do that there? Because I feel like the first chapter is what sets up all the other endings. But I feel like running away after the first chapter just like erases it. So what if I just try to run away right now? You're here to slay her. If you don't... It will be the end of the- Yeah, I know that already. Turn around and leave. Let me see what happens here. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? No. Um... Quietly continue down the path from the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away I from just, the cabin. I want to see if this ends up being the same ending I got the second time. What was the second time? Yeah, like something just takes me and that's it. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't mm -hmm. know what he's talking about. Let me see what happens. That's strange. Uh-huh. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Right. How convenient. Mm -hmm. Everything's back on track again. Uh, turn around again and leave again. Right? Or is it just going to do the same ending again? You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? Uh -huh. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh... Quietly continue down the path. Your silence is deafening. Do I get taken again here? But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you look at that? You're okay. at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Okay, this is different. Because I'm pretty sure after the second time I tried to leave, I just got taken by the entity. Yeah, that's what happened, right? It didn't... He didn't... The, the cabin didn't appear twice last time, right? No, it just happened once. Okay, so maybe... You know, I'm good at decision-based games, so I, I'm pretty sure I understand, like, the makeup of, of, like, the branching paths. I feel like, like I said, the first chapter is the core chapter. It's what sets off the other branches. So me leaving in chapter 2 should not be the same thing as me leaving in chapter 1. And I think this confirms it. There's no fighting there, is there? I don't have to go into the cabin, don't I? Oh yeah? Well, I guess I just start walking a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. Right? There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as mm -hmm. well as for everyone who ever will. All right. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. Okay. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Okay. But as you focus on your surroundings, you oh. start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. No, they weren't. In every direction, there is a path <laughs> and a cabin. <laughs> and not just a cabin, the cabin. Oh, An God. infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back uh -huh. to where you need to be. Well, you have a lot of control in this story, don't you, then? You just created a bunch of different cabins. Wait, what's going on? Yeah. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate <laughs> of the world. <laughs> yeah. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. Okay. 
You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oh. Chapter 2, The Stranger. That's a new one, right? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, The Stranger. This one's different. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Mm-hmm. I'm getting deja vu. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> Those walls were in here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. Uh -huh. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Right. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Mm. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. <laughs> Voice of the Contrarian. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. Okay, so this is definitely a new ending then, a new path. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, mm -hmm. then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Sure about that? The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Okay. Um. Yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Um. Let's just stay in the woods forever. Do I want to do that? If I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just staying here in the woods forever. I just don't want to trigger the same ending like last time, the one where I just get taken by the entity. Silently proceed to the cabin. Yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Yep. Okay, heading to the cabin where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? <laughs> Please take this seriously. I am begging you. A warning before you go any further. Yeah. She will lie. She will cheat. I know that already. If we're already. stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Maybe. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Got it. Proceeding to the cabin. The cabin interior is wrong. Oh. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. Yeah, this it's is all weird. Shifted. An inch here, a foot there. This is weird. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. It's like it's mixing up different realities of the cabin. The only furniture of note is a plain table, mm -hmm. its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Mm -hmm. The blade is your implement. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust, or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. Good as a knife against a world-ending monstrosity, anyway. True. No, we're taking the knife. <sighs> have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. Right. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward <laughs> premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong... Ah, maybe I should have stayed out. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Should I try to kill her or not this time? I don't know. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which mm -hmm. is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. Okay, I'm bringing the knife, but I'm not going to kill her. Let me see if I could trigger something different. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? <laughs> Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. 
Okay. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. Okay. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Got it. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to come. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Um... Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save- Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. What? Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way. Thumb at the bottom. It'll look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Oh. Okay. It really doesn't matter how you hold <laughs> the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Hold it the other way. Keep your grip as it hold the blade the other way. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. <laughs> yes! Isn't this so much better? If you say so. <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Got it. Um... <laughs> throw the blade out the window. Approach the mirror. You didn't say throw the blade out the window. <laughs> yes! Do it! <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. You throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. Yeah, there you go. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends? Oh well. If the princess wasn't going to do it, the heat death of the universe was going to come for it eventually. <laughs> oh god. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. I don't know about that. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. Okay, um, enter the basement. The door to the basement oh, creeps open, shit. revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Yeah, I can see that. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Mm -hmm. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let yeah. alone down. Okay, yeah, reality's definitely broken in this loop. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. Uh -huh. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Right. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Right. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Uh-huh. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. Well, I don't um... No. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. Okay, so she's not nice in this one. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. Right. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And that is... And what's that? the fate of the world hinges on your success? No. There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his death. <laughs> uh, take the soft stairs to the right, take the center staircase, take the harsh stairs to the left. Harsh, center, soft. Take the center. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. Okay. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. Okay. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. All right. You wouldn't want to have to... And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, 
another foot down, another after that. Uh -huh. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in mm -hmm. following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, mm -hmm. or up, or maybe sideways. <laughs> okay. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. Because it's the center one? I, I, what is the princess going to look like? Is, is it going to be like a bunch of different versions of her, like mixed up into one? You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Okay. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Oh, that's not good. Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Until the only things experienced oh, it's, that's are the cool. endless repeating it, patterns and emotions racing. of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Ah oh, shit, it's leaving again. Consumption and betrayal. Skepticism and blind devotion. Rivalry mm -hmm. and submission. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Can I help you? Oh shit. That creeped me out. What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Uh-huh. Oh well, that was a trip. <laughs> now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Okay. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Right. Don't forget why you're here. Oh, I haven't. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. Mm-hmm. You're here to... He's... He's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit and try to get her bearings. She seems normal. Sorry, I didn't realize I was here. And yet here you are. How strange. Do you remember anything at all? Do you know why you're here? Do you know me? I think I do, yes. The shadows recede. Revealing the princess's face. Okay. She's so blank. I have no idea who she is. Okay, so she's completely blank this time. Isn't that fun? A new puzzle for us to take apart. If she's keeping her cards close to her chest, it's because she wants to deceive you. Dude, shut up already with this. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, what? Don't worry. Sometimes I get lost here too. Uh. Oh shit, reality's still breaking. That's another, that's, this is the blank version of her. This is the, isn't this the nice version we met, we met last time? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. Great. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Yeah, you. You're the one that broke reality last time. Should we tell him? Nah, let him stew. <laughs> right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left. Until... Until? It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up, and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Yep. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. I, I whatever think... thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. I don't think I can do that. It's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. I, I, don't, I didn't even bring a knife. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> you know what? I'm all for it. I'm all for the voice of the contrarian. Up till now, I've done everything he's told me. I threw the knife out. Let's just keep seeing how much I can break reality. Maybe we'll find out something about the narrator's powers by doing this. Like, if I just keep seeing, like, what's... Because, okay. From what I've seen, the, the narrator can literally has control over the story. Right? He has control of the story, and in the second ending, where the Wraith possessed me, she sort of overpowered him. 
and basically told him because he said like he made the lo the hallway longer so she couldn't escape, but she forced him to write it back to the way it was, and she escaped. So he has power, but he doesn't have complete control over everything. Last time, the other voices managed to, managed to overpower him also, so he's something. I feel like he's his own entity. So we have the prince as an entity, the narrator, and whatever's out there that's absorbing all the different versions of the princesses also and also me they haven't still said what the hell i am which i'm obviously a beast i'm not even a human what's the point and apparently i'm growing with each iteration that i am bringing to the entity of the princess i have no idea man uh there's more of you now what's your name princess okay you can call me princess if you'd like uh, okay um, getting there was weird. Like, I was pulled apart. You know what happened to me? For all you got locked here for a reason. Uh, you're apparently a threat to the world. I was sitting here there. I'm trying to get you out of here. Uh, wait, what? I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Regrettably, think about that time you threw the blade out of the window wait but this is like three choices like i'm doing three different choices here um getting here was weird it was pulled apart do you know what happened to me i don't remember what it was like before i was in this place why would i know what happened to you okay we're probably stuck down here forever aren't we uh -huh. there's no way out and barely a way in depressive one Nice, blank, depressive. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. Right. There's more of you now. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. Uh-huh. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? Okay, pissed off, blank nice and depressive she fractures again i don't like where this is going oh i'm gonna keep doing this neither do i which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are all right how would we even do that where would we start do i just pick a random one we'd always start by retrieving the blade the one we threw out the one he made us throw out the window i wasn't the one who threw it <laughs> Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Right. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. Of course. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? Right. Can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's just do this one. It's like I'm doing different. Try and free her, leave her in the basement, and re regretfully think about the time you threw the. It's like three choice. It's like this choice is broken by reality as well. Wait, that's not right. Yeah, no shit. Go on. Yeah, do all three. Take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. Oh, that's the evil one. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Mm -hmm. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. What? Right once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Wait, what? I did. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... What? Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. Are they merging into one? No, I don't, because this isn't fun. Uh -huh. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Right. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? Oh, are we outside again? I think he's gone. Oh shit, we're outside again. 
This is another version of her that she's gonna take, right? We were never going to salvage this, were we? No. What happened to us? us? What are we? What are we? There are parts, there are parts of us that are dead, and others, and the others they just don't, don't fit. They just don't fit. Oh, the one we saved, the one we fall in love, and the one we killed. Ugh. Well, I got another version for you. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Right. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? No, I can't fix you. We should help her. I think we did this. Yes, but the hand should be coming up any second now, right? Well, surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Oh, they have. Well, it's leading to something. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. please, please. please. Um, it's going to be okay. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed, no. You just- I'm not going to fix- um... I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. Exactly. There you go. Another version for you. But you'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memory returns. The illusion of choice. Achievement unlocked. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? No. Is that a... Um... Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not for me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Of course. He's just messing with us. Right? Nope. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you but you need to see what's in it. You've withered. This last time was you've grown, now you've withered. To find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. Yes, a you mass are. A of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. Mm -hmm. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Yep. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. Mm-hmm. Uh... Uh... I want to the other. Doesn't that change? Doesn't it make worse? What do you think of this vessel? These ones are a contradiction. Mm -hmm. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and walk. Mm -hmm. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. Right. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Okay. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Inside you, right? Okay. Uh, I go back. Uh... Do you know what happens of the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. Mm -hmm. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths. And my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Right. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Oh, I bet it will. You're either going to betray me and actually destroy the world or not. Um, have you figured out what you'll want when we're finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. Okay. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Right. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Right. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts. 
But I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Okay. Um, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Okay. Um, how can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? I mean, she already said it doesn't. So you have no preferences on how you'd like to change and grow. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. Okay. My gift to you is to let you choose your path. And my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Okay. Alright. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark. And I die. Bring the stranger to her, a spiral vessel. I wonder how You're many more versions I have. The woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. I'll have to think about- and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I, I legit don't know what else to try anymore. I've tried to kill her, I've tried to rescue her. Maybe next time I'll do, I'll try to redo the first ending where I was broken, but I ran away in chapter two. Like try to keep that going, like continue being broken, like lose the fight on purpose, and then maybe I could get something there, because that's all I, I think I also could have let her possess me in the second one, where she was a, a specter, but then I made her a wraith, maybe I could have let her possess me there and that would have been different, I have no idea, but I'll try some more endings next time, this is fascinating, I, I hope that there is like this major ending at the end, when she gets all versions of himself or something like that. I mean, it's it seems that way, because the dialogue always changes when I get back to the entity, so... I'm pretty sure that's what I'm working towards, so... I'll try to figure out what... I, I'm not gonna... I haven't looked anything up, so I kind of want to do this by myself. Like, I want to see, like, how many endings I could think up. But... Apparently, I'm not even close. Last time she said she was a pond and I need an ocean. This time it's like, nah, you're still far away, so there's still... A lot of endings that apparently I'm still missing. I mean, I've only given her, what, four at this point, right? Yeah, four. Because, well, no, because one of them didn't count. One of them, she took me, but she didn't like me as a vessel. So I've only given her three versions of the princess. So I gotta give her probably, what, three more, maybe? We'll see.